Thank you so much, Bailey. And as we continue throughout the rest of our Sunday night, night has fallen over the area and I am continue to continuing to fall in love with this fall weather. It feels great right now. Mid 70s across much of the view and area. North northeast winds are up to about six miles per hour and we're going to hang on to a light breeze through the rest of the night and into Monday as well. As we start off our Monday morning, we are headed into the low 60s throughout much of the morning time. We're going to warm up a little bit warmer than what we have been seeing over the last few days and that's because our high temperatures will expect to be warmer by the afternoon as well. So we're at already at 79 degrees expected by our 10 o'clock hour tomorrow morning headed into the upper 80s by lunchtime and then hitting that high of 94 degrees in the latter part of our afternoon and through the evening we're going to remain in the mid to low 90s again northeast winds are pushing in up to about five miles per hour as we head into about six o'clock on our Monday night but as we go throughout the rest of the week. Expect more sunshine and hanging on to warmer temps for Tuesday as well with the high of 95 degrees expected. Overnight lows though are warming up also. We're going to start the week off in the low 60s and then mid to upper 60s return by Wednesday and then through the remainder of the week expect much of the same as well for overnight lows but it's still going to be quite comfortable. Again, we're not dealing with any rainfall in the forecast but we do have an update on the tropics because new tropical development now has formed as we continue throughout the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. Make sure you go over your safety plan with your family and we could see a disturbance moving into the Gulf of Mexico as we head into next week. Disturbance number one now has a 50% chance of development over the next seven days. Again, as of now, not expected to bring us any impacts, but models still show uncertainty in which direction that this disturbance will go once it does enter into to the Gulf. Again, it could head towards the Texas coastline, Mississippi coastline or near Florida once again. So again, make sure you have your plan in place, gathering those non perishable food items, thinking about your evacuation route in the event that we do have a hurricane coming our way. And we're also tracking disturbance number two here that also has a 50% chance of development over the next seven days. It just came off the coast of Africa there and it is near what is now tropical depression number 12, which could claim a name up off the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season list as we go throughout the season. Tropical depression 12 though formed earlier this morning is moving west at seven miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour as of now, but it could reach up to category two hurricane status by Wednesday as it continues to move in the Atlantic again headed towards the US. But again, as of now, no impacts to our area, so you have plenty of time to plan and prepare in the event that we do have a hurricane headed our way. And as we are seeing more names like Kirk, Leslie and Milton, those three names could be claimed next. But beautiful weather conditions continue again. No rain in the forecast and temps are warming up for the early start of our week. Bailey and Lindsay. Aviana, thank you so much.